So the past week I have been prepping for the new shop update and I actually filmed some like behind the scenes footage of all like the random things I was doing to prepare for it because uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you guys. It is after the shop update now and I really want to say thank you to everybody who bought something and gave my pieces new homes. Everything has been shipped, I just had like a few packages left to bring to the postal office today. Um, but then after that, I'm uh, kind of done with July's update. It was definitely a journey in the past week because I wanted to update my packaging so I did like a lot of random different things and then I ordered new packaging and then got like way too much packaging. Didn't expect that. I hope that you'll enjoy watching what the past week has been like for me. I make everything at home currently, so everything is still done in-house, so like all the packaging, stickers, and all those little things I just do with my printer and my Cricut. I just find it a bit easier for me to just do things on the fly and change things, but now you're gonna see just all the random preparation, so here we go. I was going to set up the newsletter for the new shop update. My Clavio account can't send to more than 250 people. Figure out a way to send mail to more people. I have to figure out how to use MailChimp after finally getting used to using Clavio. So, small business life. Gumpy baby. Yeah. A lot of things on my list now. Finished making my new thank you cards, cut up a bunch of cardboard for the stickers. I still have a handful of things to do. I have to go up into the attic and get more bubble wrap. Can't find my keys right now to so figure out where the keys are so I can go get 
some more bubble mailers. You then stamp all the bubble mailers, set up a bunch of bubble wrap, yeah. The day before shop update day is always really anxious for me. I know I should be more excited, but I'm always really worried that something really terrible is going to happen or like that I forgot something. I'm spending today doing as much as I can to make tomorrow as easy as possible. I mean, nothing has gone wrong yet, so let's just hope that it keeps doing that way, but you just never know. all evening making a new stamp and it looks so good look at that i'm gonna stamp all the the mailers with this all of the listings got messed up so i have to reschedule all of them I'm so tired. <laughs> So we're about half an hour away from the new shop update for July. This morning I had to fix a bunch of the listings because something happened with the schedule. It's a good thing that I checked because that would have been really bad had they not been listed at the time. I said they were supposed to be listed. I'm making some last minute stamps to pass my time, but I think I'm gonna make some coffee. Um, which isn't what I usually, usually drink. I usually have tea, but I didn't sleep that well last night because Bosley was being Bosley. <laughs> the cat has to be in the kitchen at the same time that I'm in the kitchen. Um, so we're gonna make some coffee and relax a little bit and get ready for the uh, shop update. <laughs> Okay, time to go to the post office. I just realized I need to buy more packing materials, so I started to look on a website. Awesomely, I found some more environmentally friendly stuff, so I'm packing peanuts that are fully bio biodegradable. I found this alternative for bubble wrap, so it kind of looks like this, and it's made with paper. I'm gonna get some and give an update uh, about how good it works, how well it works. Yeah, we'll see. I made a 
thought it was going to be like this much. But yeah, I have a lot of packing peanuts now for a lifetime. And they're taking up the entire living room. Mistakes. This one is unopened. I have opened. It looks like I haven't used any of them. I only packed like four packages with them. So this is the new bubble wrap replacer. I don't know, it seems pretty cool. And I'm kind of getting like tryptophobia vibes. I'm gonna try this. Okay, I got a bigger piece because I think it's supposed to be pulled this way. Circles actually come out. giant sticker. So they're going off to Canada, the US, France, and Germany. Thank you so much to everybody who bought the ceramics piece for me. I hope all of you really like your new ceramics. Anyway, so that is a wrap up for July's shop update and all the little things that went into it. There was a lot of preparation just to make sure that the day goes as smooth as possible. So things like setting up newsletters, cutting up packaging, prepping packaging ahead of time, um, making all a bunch of stickers, trying new things, getting more backing materials as needed. Definitely still learning how to run this little small business, but it is a journey that I really like. Uh, it's quite fun. Super, super huge thank you to anybody who visited my shop, shared the update, bought something, is giving one of my creations a new home. I can't thank you enough for your support because what you're doing is helping me continue creating more things just for you. I hope that maybe you learned a thing or two about what goes on in, in my little one-man show. Let me know if you have any questions about any parts, um, especially about the cool new packing material I got because I am really excited about it and it's supposed to be a lot more environmentally friendly, which is what I'm going to try to start doing after I finish using up the plastic wrap and other things that I have already in my inventory. Taking steps to trying to be more eco-friendly. I hope that it was a fun ride, fun journey. Yeah, thanks. Oh!